Thanks to very favorable agroecological conditions, long history and tradition, viticulture in Serbia has always been an important branch of agriculture. Based on statistical data, in wine-growing Serbia, there are a total of 25,000 hectares under wines. In the central Serbia region, wines are grown on 17,118 hectares and in the Vojvodina region on 5,032 hectares. According to the data of the Ministry of Agriculture and Environmental Protection, 433 oriented wineries are currently registered on the territory of the Republic of Serbia. But there are also a large number of small producers who produce wine for their own needs. During the last few decades, the viticulture and wine sector in Serbia has been developing intensively thanks to radical reforms that are taking place under the auspices of the Government of the Republic of Serbia and the Association of Winemakers and Wine Growers. The goal of the reforms is to harmonize with EU regulations and standards, to introduce modern technologies into viticultural and winemaking practices and to increase the competitiveness of domestic wines on foreign markets. Reforms are reflected in numerous activities such as the regionalization of wine-growing production areas, the introduction of wine and wine producers' registers, the introduction of a system of protection of geographical origin of the wine, and the use of registration stamps for wines that guarantee consumer quality and producer safety. The modern concept of viticulture and wine production implies not only the introduction of new technologies in the production process, but also several other measures ranging from choosing the most favorable sites for vineyards, soil preparation, assortment selection, following agroecological conditions and raising and quality care of wines and soil, vineyard, all the way to grape processing and product realization. According to the regionalization of wine-growing geographical production areas of Serbia, wine-growing Serbia covers the territory of the entire Republic of Serbia, at altitudes up to 800 meters, as well as areas above this altitude if they are on the list of regional areas with higher altitudes. Within wine-growing Serbia, there are three wine-growing regions. Central Serbia region, region of Vojvodina, region of Kosovo and Metohija. Within the three regions, there are 22 regions with 77 vineyards and several wine-growing oases. Vineyard region Vojvodina. The northernmost wine-growing region of Serbia, Vojvodina, has seven regions within which there are 16 vineyards. The Srem region, which includes only the Fruška Gora vineyards, is also the largest in Vojvodina. It covers 2,216 hectares of vineyards, in which wine varieties convincingly dominate as much as 85%. As in many other regions of Vojvodina, the predominant type of land is Chernozem, and the vineyards are located at altitudes of 90 to 270 meters. Viticultural regions of Serbia, regions of Vojvodina. 1. Subotica region, 3 vineyards. 2. Telečka region, 3 vineyards. 3. Banat region, 2 vineyards. 4. Push region, 3 vineyards. 5. Bačka region, 1 vineyard. 6. South Banat region, 3 vineyards. 7. Srem region, 1 vineyard. Vineyard Regions – Central Serbia Central Serbia has 17,118 hectares of land under vineyards. 
with 7,529 hectares of vineyards, the Trimorave region is the region with the largest areas under vineyards in Serbia and has as many as 89 registered wine producers. In this region, the vineyards are located at altitudes of 200 to 350 meters. The largest number of wine growers is located in the municipality of Aleksandrovac, but the municipality with the largest area under vineyards is Trstenik. Viticultural Regions of Serbia Regions of Central Serbia 1. Belgrade Region 5 vineyards 2. Šumadija Region 4 vineyards 3. Tri Morave 9 vineyards 4. Mlav Region 3 vineyards 5. Negotin Region 5 vineyards 6. Knjaževac Region 4 vineyards 7. Pocer Valjevo Region 3 vineyards 8. Čačak Kraljevo Region 2 vineyards 9. Niš Region 6 vineyards 10. Toplica Region 3 vineyards 11. Nišavski Region 3 vineyards 12. Leskovac region, 4 vineyards. 13. Vranje region, 3 vineyards. Viticultural region Kosovo and Metohija. In the area of the region of Kosovo and Metohija, the current area under vineyards is 3,220 hectares. Viticultural regions of Serbia, regions of Kosovo and Metohija. 1. North Metohija region, 2 vineyards. 2. South Metohija region, 5 vineyards. It is important to mention that wine has been produced in this area since the Middle Ages, mainly on church estates called Metoh, which is why the area was named Metohija. According to the legend from the Dečani vineyard, which is located in the heart of Velika Hoča, with special pipes the wine flowed all the way to Prizren. The vineyard was donated by Tsar Dušan to the monastery of Visoki Dečani in the 14th century, and the vineyard of Dečani remained intact even after seven centuries. In 2004, UNESCO declared the monastery a World Heritage Site. To highlight the richness of diversity of wine-growing regions, regions and vineyards where grape and wine production takes place, sublimated through the characteristics and specifics of domestic wines, within the system of geographical origin, labeling of wines with geographical origin was introduced. The stamps represent a stamp and guarantor of high-quality wine characteristics that result from natural and human factors and verified geographical origin. The assortment of wines in Serbia today consists of varieties of different origins and purposes. According to regionalization, all varieties are classified into the following groups. 1. Recommended allowed indigenous varieties. 2. Recommended allowed domestic created varieties. 3. Recommended permitted international varieties. The state of Serbia and the association of winemakers and wine growers are making great efforts to encourage the planting of new plantations through subsides and other measures. In recent years, significant progress has been made to improve viticultural and winemaking technologies and raise the quality of wine, as well as the production of wine with geographical origin. This is evidenced by the fact that exports have been growing recently quality wines with geographical origin. For the renewal of Serbian viticulture to continue and intensify, it is necessary through measures at different levels. The program for the development of viticulture and analogy of the Republic of Serbia for the period 2021 to 2031 is a document that should improve the development of this branch of the economy in Serbia and also the most important project of the Association of Wine Growers and Winemakers of Serbia. The strategy for the development of the wine sector opens numerous opportunities in the next decade and the way to funds for one of the most prosperous branches of the Serbian economy to continue to develop. Wine Growing Serbia is growing, developing and expanding every day in all its regions and vineyards. From the very beginning of the renewal of the wine tradition and industry, every year there are more and more new wines. 
vineyards and wineries, from renovated small family cellars to modern and impressive wine houses. Thanks to the persistence and creativity of Serbian wine growers and winemakers, in just two decades, Serbia has raised its wine tradition from the ashes and stood side by side with the famous wine regions of the world with its wines. Numerous medals that Serbian wines have won prestigious international competitions in the past few years also testify to the strengthening of the national brand. Serbian wines are back on the wine list. They are proudly pushing and they are slowly conquering the whole world.